Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Rhoda. I hope you're all doing well. I thought that I would read you a book once in a while, and so I'm choosing a couple of my favorite books that I have here at home. This one is called Frederick, and it's about a little field mouse, and it's by Leo Liani. The introduction. All along the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. In that wall, not far from the barn and the granary, a chatty family of field mice had their home. And the farmers had moved away, the barn was abandoned, and the granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They all worked day and night all except Frederick. <laughs> My cameraman's having troubles. Is everything okay? Frederick, why don't you work? They asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. You see Frederick gathering the rays of the sun. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, and now Frederick, I gather colors, answered Frederick simply, for winter is gray. And once Frederick seemed half asleep, are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully, but Frederick said, oh no, I am gathering words for the winter days are long and many and we'll run out of things to say. The winter days came and when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries. The straw was gone and the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall and no one felt like chatting. <laughs> then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed on a big stone. Now I send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel how they're golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles and the red poppies and the yellow wheat and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had painted in their minds. And the words, Frederick. Frederick cleared his throat. 
waited a moment, and then, as if from a stage, he said, <clears throat> Who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four-leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. And winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. Frederick blushed, took a bow. I missed a page. Sorry, let me come back. When Frederick had finished, they all applauded. But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Frederick blushed, took a bow, and said shyly, I know it. There's Frederick, painting the world beautifully, even when skies are gray. I hope that you guys are all having beautiful days. I miss you. Take care of yourselves and your families, and I hope to see you soon.